Hello, so today I wanted to chat a bit about how you can take gender studies and undergraduate degree level in the UK. Unsurprisingly, this is because I take gender studies at an undergraduate degree level in the UK. <laughs> um, so my name's Eleanor, I'm 20 years old and I've just finished my first year of liberal arts and natural sciences at Birmingham University. You're probably right to stop and think there, Eleanor, you just said you do gender studies. That's not gender studies, but bear with me, we'll get on to that one. Um, so first of all, I thought I'd chat a bit about how you might know that you want to do gender studies because no one really talks about it as a career option. Um, but as someone who's taking it, how I knew I wanted to do it was because literally no matter what subject I was doing, whatever I found most interesting about that subject, it always came back to gender, especially at A-level. So doing A-level English Lit, every time an essay really fascinated me, it was because it was to do with gender. And whenever I got to choose what I write about, it would be to do with gender. Uh, so also in my free time, most of what I did was gender studies related, directly or indirectly. Um, so I would read a load of books about gender, um, like Shampanda Ngozi Adichie. Um, I watched loads of YouTubers who kind of talked about gender and feminism. And it was a really big part of my identity and it was what really fascinated me. I say, what options are there in the UK if you do want to do gender studies at an undergraduate level? Um, the answer is not many, <laughs> which is why I'm making this video, uh, to try and help you navigate those options. Basically, as far as I am aware, you have two options at the moment. You can either go to Swansea and do English literature with gender. I think you used to be able to take gender studies on its own, but it doesn't look like they do that anymore. Um, so that is an English lit sort of double major with gender. Or you can do my course, which is Liberal Arts and Natural Sciences at Birmingham Uni with a major in Gender Studies. Now, this is for undergraduate degree level. At master's degree level, you have loads of options. There are countless um, Gender Studies master's courses on a whole wide variety of topics. I know that UCL do one and I know that uh, Sussex do one. When I was looking for my undergraduate degree one, I knew that those two masters existed, but now having a quick Google, I think there are a lot more. My course is Liberal Arts and Natural Sciences at Birmingham University. So what this means is that there are a very small amount of core modules that I have to take as part of my course. It's about one a year for the first two years, and after that, you have free reign. So you have to take one out of normally six, it can be more courses, is chosen for you, but the rest are completely up to you. And you get a choice of pretty much every course that the university offers, any module from any course. Um, obviously there are certain requirements for certain subjects, like you might have had to do them at A-level, but for humanities it's pretty open. So most people choose a major as part of this degree. Um, most of these majors are subjects that already exist as an undergraduate degree, so biology, drama, English, neuroscience, all of this stuff that you can already do as an undergraduate degree. But there are two exceptions. You can take gender studies as your major or you can take sustainability as your major. Um, so for gender studies and sustainability majors, you are given a list of modules, which are the modules that you can take, which will count towards your major. So you have to take a certain number of credits in, those mod uh, in that subject for it to be your major. And so for us, because there isn't a specific department that look after us, um, the lands department, uh, lands is short for liberal arts and natural sciences, um, provide us that list. So this may sound a bit confusing and it's confusing because there is a lot of flexibility. So I'm just going to chat about what I do and hopefully it'll make it a bit clearer. So I've just finished first year, as I said, and the thing to note about first year modules is they are less specific because most of them are a general introduction to um, different subjects, but that doesn't mean that you can't write about gender within them, even though the titles of the modules may suggest that you can't. Um, so the modules that I took, I had to take a core module in liberal arts, then I took a politics module, a sociology module, a law module, and then two widening horizons modules. Widening horizons is a thing that exists only at Birmingham. I think there's similar concepts at lots of unis, where in your first year, for most subjects, for most normal degrees, um, you have the chance to take one module which is outside of your own um, degree course so that you can widen your horizons. Um, I actually took two of them because I'm sneaky. <laughs> so, although that may not sound like gender studies um, initially, though it just sounds like a random mix of subjects, uh, 
let's talk about what I actually wrote and what work I did as part of it. So for my core module, I did a group project for the entire year about sex education in the UK and sex education internationally and worked on a campaign to promote sex positivity to teenagers. In my politics module, I wrote a blog about the rise in transphobic hate crime and then I wrote an essay on uh, different types of political feminisms. In sociology, I wrote an essay about the geographical uh, division and the geographical division of gay villages and the, how they evolved in the UK and what the future is looking like for them. So in my law module, I wrote an essay on uh, law and morality and that essay on law and morality basically consisted of a tracing of laws to do with homosexuality and how they developed within the UK. In one of my Winding Horizons modules, it was a science book club, uh, but for the first term of that, we were talking about testosterone rex, which is a book all to do with the science of gender. And my final module <laughs> was actually a module called something like um, sexual identities around the world. <laughs> Basically it was a gender studies module anyway, so everything in it was related to gender studies. So that's how I made those modules fit my gender studies degree. Next year the picture is a little different because modules become more specified. So I'm going to be taking the core module again for my course, which I have to take, and a Shakespeare module because I'm a Shakespeare nerd. <laughs> but then I'm also going to be taking gender and sexuality in English, gender and sexuality in sociology, the ethics of sex, and feminist political theory. So these are modules that are far more tailored towards gender studies and basically talk about their subject from a gender studies perspective. Um, so for most normal students, it would be the only module they get to take in a sort of gender studies discipline, whereas I take all of them in a gender studies discipline. It just happens that the subject is different in each module. Uh, so year three, we have to do a year abroad. This is um, quite crucial for gender studies majors, I would say, because in year three, you can go to a university that does have a gender studies department. We don't have one at Birmingham, but internationally, lots of unis do have gender studies departments. It's far more common. Um, so at the moment, I'm looking to apply to Sweden, Norway, and potentially Ireland, because I know all of those have specific gender studies departments that I'll be able to take a lot of modules. In. And year four, <laughs> at this point, I don't really know, but I'll probably be doing a dissertation in gender studies, um, which will pretty much be of my choosing, I imagine. But I haven't thought about that yet because it's a long way away. <laughs> uh, so the pros and cons of my degree and this way of taking gender studies. Um, the pro is that it's super flexible and I can tailor it to exactly what I'm interested in, which is so good for me. And it also, um, not everyone on my course is taking gender studies. <laughs> this is also a con. So as far as I'm aware, there is one person in the year above me who's a gender studies major and I'm the only gender studies major in my year. So <laughs> there's basically only two of us that I know of taking gender studies at Birmingham Uni. But it also means that I mix with loads of different people and it doesn't mean that they're not interested in gender studies just because they don't take it as a major. They still care about it and they're still willing to have discussions about it and learn. And they also give me perspectives that I haven't heard. I'm in less of a bubble of people who think exactly the same way I do and who have exactly the same knowledge as I do about these subjects, which I think is really useful. Another reason why my course is so great is that liberal arts and natural sciences fits very well for gender studies. Gender studies is an inherently interdisciplinary um, like subject. I think we limit what we think of as subjects quite strongly from what we have by convention, but actually gender studies blurs those boundaries a lot and doing a course that is all about intentionally encouraging people to take modules from lots of different courses fits very well with studying gender studies because to understand gender studies it's something that is relevant to every discipline of study therefore you need to be able to take modules in every discipline of study to be able to have a good grasp of it. Also <laughs> a benefit to there being only two people that I know of who do it is that I get a lot of attention and there is a lot of flexibility so if I want something or there's a module that I think should be included as part of my gender studies major but they haven't necessarily popped it on the list or um so for my subject we get a lot of free cultural events um, and we can provide suggestions for that there are loads of opportunities for me to personalize my course and make it suit for me um and that's really encouraged. Um, I'm not sort of anonymous in a sea <laughs> when they think about gender studies. 
uh, which they have to because they offer it, uh, I get very specific and personalised attention, which, which is useful, you know? <laughs> so that is actually a big bonus, even though at first it might seem like a bit more of a con. It's not. <laughs> Another con might be jobs. Uh, Birmingham do a very good job of convincing you that you'll be highly employable at the end of a liberal arts degree, which I do think is true. I think it gives you a massive wide range of skills. But actually what I've noticed as I've done more of the degree is I've actually realised that most of the jobs that I'd be interested in doing anyway, gender studies degree will actually be a bonus for me. So I've realised I'm actually really interested in sex education and obviously if I'm doing any job to do with sex education it will be super useful <laughs> to have spent four years thinking about gender studies and learning about laws and theories and all of that jazz. The options are quite limited but I will say that if you don't want to do a gender studies degree and there'll be maybe many reasons why you don't want to, you can't, you're going to choose not to, that's absolutely fine, but it doesn't mean that you can't engage in gender studies as a discipline. There are so many more options, so if you are doing a university course, the modules I took weren't gender studies specific, I just choose to write about gender studies within them, and it's perfectly up to you to make that choice too, you can do that, that's fine. <laughs> so that's a really easy way of doing it. And also societies. Um, societies at universities and outside of universities have loads of things going on to do with gender studies. Um, specifically the feminist society is a good place to start to look, um, but we also have sex expression at University of Birmingham who teach sex ed to uh, kids. There's lots. Also there are online courses. Um, if you want to learn but you don't want to go to uni then uh, there are loads of online courses to do with gender studies that you can take for free. You can also just engage with people who are making gender studies content online or make it yourself. Uh, so I, all of the videos I've made on this channel have not been directly relevant so far to what I have learned in my degree. Um, like my Eurovision one and my one on the Gender Recognition Act obviously are very relevant to gender studies but I didn't make them from anything I learned from my degree, that was just my own personal interest that allowed me to make those videos and there's nothing stopping other people from doing that too. <laughs> um, so don't feel constrained by the lack of choices. And if you do do a degree and you decide at the end of it that you actually want to learn more about gender studies, there are so many more options you can look at for master's level that you really don't have to worry. I would really recommend doing a gender studies degree if it's what you're interested in. Uh, for me, I can't imagine taking anything else. I kind of found this course by accident, which is why I wanted to make a video about it, to try and help other people learn more about how, they t how to take gender studies. Um, but it is the perfect thing for me and it's really helping my development and really challenging me to think in new ways. Um, and <laughs> obviously there is such a small handful of people who take gender studies at undergraduate degree level in the UK. Like, please don't be afraid to ask me questions because it's quite rare probably to find one of those people. <laughs> and I'm more than happy to answer questions. I really want to help other people who are in the same situation as me because it's kind of luck that I ended up here and I'm really happy with the degree that I'm taking. Um, also my degree in general, not specific to gender studies, if you're struggling to decide what you want to study at uni, um, I would highly recommend going and having a look at it. If you are thinking about doing gender studies, good luck. I wish you all the best in it. It's quite a small select field, so hopefully maybe I'll bump into you at some point <laughs> and we'll be reading your research, who knows. Um, but I hope that is useful for someone out there <laughs> who was in the same situation that I was in a year ago. Um, good luck!